Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. Today I'm going to be talking about gas block alignment. Now, misaligned gas blocks are easiest, one of the most common causes of malfunctions on the AR-15 platform. So, with that being said, let's take a look at what exactly gas block alignment is. So, I have this gas block here. This was a low-profile gas block that I cut the top off of to use as a visual reference. And you can see here, we can see the gas port that's actually drilled in it. So, backing up a little bit, whenever manufacturers drill the hole in the gas block, the hole on top, or the actual gas port, is drilled from the bottom. So what they're going to do is they're going to drill that hole for the set screw and then keep going. And then that's what gives you the actual gas port. Now in the gas block, it's important to understand that the gas port is always going to be larger than the gas port that's in the barrel. And I'll give you a quick reference for that here. And if you'll notice, the gas port in the barrel is visible through that larger gas port in the gas block. So it can be a little bit off one way or the other and still work just fine because you're not covering any of the port. Another thing I'd like to point out is that a lot of people say you don't run the gas block all the way up to the shoulder. You have to leave a little room like there would be a uh, end cap in there for everything to be properly aligned. So if you'll notice with the gas block pushed all the way up against the shoulder, the two gas ports are perfectly aligned one inside the other. When you pull it back off like you would have a end cap in there, it's actually offset, but it's not covering the gas port. So you can push it all the way against the shoulder, or you can pull it back off. That either way is going to work just fine, and it's not going to cause any misalignment issues. Now, moving on to barrel dimpling. This is another very important thing that often gets messed up sometimes. So the dimpling on the barrel itself should always be directly opposite of the gas port. And that's because of the way, like I explained earlier, how they're drilled. They're drilled directly across from one another. And another thing I would recommend is only dimpling one if you're gonna dimple it yourself. Only dimple the rear screw because different manufactured gas blocks use different screw spacing. But that one screw that's underneath the gas port's always guaranteed to be in the same place and that one dimple is going to be more than enough to, to keep everything aligned. And that's the basics of gas block alignment. If you have any questions on this or, of course, any other gun parts whatsoever, feel free to give us a call on the tech line or leave us a comment down below. We'll be happy to help you out. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.